let's take another Skype call from Tyler. Tyler. Yo. What's up, bro? Not much. Just watching the stream. You watching uh, me blunder my way through that last uh, mini boss? Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. What do you uh, think? Are you have you played the uh, Metal Gear Rising? Um, no, I haven't played Rising. I would want to. I might get it later on. Um, I don't know about the DLC because I'm not that big of a Metal Gear Rising fan. I do have the HD collection. I do, actually I do need to play that. Um, but yeah, I, do, I, do, I would want to try it Rising for sure. Cool. Yeah, the the DLC. Uh, I mean, play the game first or whatever. You know, obviously. But so far, I'm I'm pretty stoked. Like on this I, i'm excited to try out the sam dlc too i think that'll have a bit more background story kind of stuff mm, oh cool. zandatsu boom yeah. boom boom uh, do you know a background story for which character for sam for jetstream sam which was kind of like a rival kind of oh is that the guy with the red sword yeah he's like a oh. villain oh yeah I'm, I'm, if i get rising i'm definitely gonna get that dlc actually because that looks really cool yeah, that, that character was very mysterious in the core storyline of the game. So I'm, I'm excited to see some expansion on that. Oh, yeah, for Boom. sure. All right. Assassinated uh, that guy, pulled his guts right out. Oh, nice. His friend's in the room right, here. So oh, shit. I got a question for you. Yes, no. can't see. All right. So you made a video, I think, maybe a week or two ago, and it was, um I forgot the title, but you were, like, um, yelling at this homeless guy. Yeah, I, I, I was... I was being uh, I was being verbally assaulted whilst getting merchandise into the yeah the uh, post box the, one of the many post office or uh, postal boxes that I take our merchandise to when I'm shipping. Oh God, I keep getting this BMI error thing. But uh, yeah, that guy was like that guy was like angry at me making so much noise apparently, and then I was like got my camera out slowly and was like gonna film him. But then he fucking I and I watched the video back and I know why he got up because I had said what's up which is which is very like guy fighting intimidating like those are fighting words when you go what's up yeah, and I didn't sure. I didn't mean it that way but that's how it came out because he wasn't yeah. answering me and I was like well this isn't very good for the video the guys just fucking staring at me but yeah he got up and was like what's up with you and like started coming at me so I. I put some distance between us, and then he was so fucking drunk, he didn't know where I was, and he was, like, shouting out into the street. It was really funny. Yeah, it was. It was a very funny video. I saw it again today. It was just like, you know, you say you don't even know where I am. You're just yelling at him, and he doesn't know where you are, and it's like, no. oh, my God. I don't know if it comes so across, because I was pretty far away, and I was filming through my passenger yeah. window, but he yeah. was, like, he was staring out into the fucking street still. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, that's what you get, kids. You don't do alcohol and you don't be homeless. Don't do your alcohol. Whoa, look at this gun's floating in midair. Oh, it blew up. Oh, that's weird. Glitch. Glitched. I found it. Oh, oh it blew up. Oh. Um, and another question, I guess this is for you and Rocco. Um, uh, are you guys excited for the new Daft Punk album? Uh, Rocco's probably a little bit more excited than I am. Hmm. However, I am excited to hear it. Yeah. I, uh... And more excited for that new Queens of the Stone Age album, I feel. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I heard that the Daft Punk album actually got leaked a few days ago, and it was pretty... Well, uh, that's something interesting. The internet kept saying that this album got leaked, but the album wasn't leaked. They put it on iTunes to stream for free that day. Oh. People yeah. subsequently recorded it and put it up for download, but they put it out there. It was not leaked. Oh, okay. It was free to stream, and then everyone kind of got, you know, uh, recorded versions up on sites like Groove Shark and up on, I'm sure, like all kinds of torrent sites. But but they were the ones who put it out there. I just died. Oh. Uh, oh. Now, what did actually get leaked today was that subsequently uh, we were speaking about the Queens of the Stone Age album. Mm -hmm. That did get leaked today in oh. full. Which is yeah. a bummer for those guys. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess I got my information wrong with the Daft Punk. It was, like, really disappointing because, like, my brother uh, bought it, and I think it's going to come in two weeks. And um, I'm definitely not that excited, but I am excited for sure because the uh, promos and stuff it's d been doing with the... Oh, uh, what's that song? The uh, Funky Make or whatever. I don't know. What's it? Uh, 
We're up all yeah. night to get lucky. Yes, that one. Uh, thank you. Um, that, yeah, that song was very good. I can't wait for the rest of the album because it's very 70s funky ass, I think, for yeah, just that one song. I mean, that song, I think it's going to be all kinds of different from what we're oh, yeah, used to for hearing. Sure. Yeah, I just can't wait. Just like I, I can't wait. For, like it's, it hasn't been a new Daft Punk album in a long time. I think. So. Yeah. Were you a big Daft Punk fan? You've always been a fan of them. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I definitely love their musics and their mixes and whatnot. Um, I have never went to a concert. I can't wait if they ever come to Canada or Toronto or whatever. Um, You'll go check it out. I'll definitely go. You know, it's just a bit like they just remix all their songs. You know, it's just amazing. That's cool, so. dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I never really been that into him before talking to like Rocco and Derek and Sean, mm -hmm. but um, yeah I uh, I could say that I'm a fan. I'm looking forward to hearing the full thing. I heard a couple mm -hmm. songs during that streaming day um, that were good, but uh, I'm looking for I'm looking to hear the full thing. Oh look at that assassination! Oh nice! Boom! All right! Boom! That's that's the way I do it. <laughs> All right, and uh, I guess another quick question before I leave is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a lame question, I guess, but it's just interesting to know your answer. Um, if you had the choice, what uh, deep fry, or what food would you deep fry, or maybe better question, what fast food would you deep fry? Oh, man. I would fast, uh, fast food deep fry. Dude, yeah, I'd like okay. to try a jack-in-the-box taco. I've always been a fan hmm. of the jack-in-the-box two for 99 cent tacos. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've never tried them dipped in batter and deep fried themselves. I mean, they are they are deep fried in general. Like the the mm -hmm. whole thing is. But yeah, like the whole thing is coated and yeah, deep fried. Coated yeah. and deep fried again with powdered sugar on top. That's what I want to try. That. Oh, that's really interesting. That's nice. That's I like cool. that sweet and tangy. Yeah. Me, I would actually just do. Um, I think the best one, in my opinion, for would be the Wendy's Baconator deep fried, or oh. maybe the. Um, a McDonald's thing, like maybe a quarter pound or something. How many layers in that Baconator? Uh, you can get a double and I think a triple, and then just the single is like two, two patties, I think. I haven't been to Wendy's in a long time. Wendy's used to have some pretty decent fast food, but I, I kind of stopped yeah. eating fast food altogether. Oh, yeah. Trying to go healthy? Yeah, you know, I cut out sodas and stuff. I, I had a few sodas this weekend, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, everything in moderation. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm actually the opposite this week. I've been just eating fast food because I've been working nights and that's all hard. My, all my parents and stuff they eat, and I can't really eat what they eat. Sometimes, like they have something, like oh whatever, and I just get fast food, and I'm kind of hating that right now. When your schedule's kind of sucky, it's it's hard to fucking eat healthy, man. I I, I, I hear that mm -hmm. for sure. Mhm. Mm I've well, I've I, I've somehow found a nice balance with healthy alternatives at fast food places like i get breakfast most mornings at jack in the box and i get their breakfast platter which is like eggs bacon and hash browns and and uh like uh little pancakes but i throw the pancakes away and i just eat the eggs bacon and the uh, hash brown with a little salsa then uh for lunch if i don't do a jamba juice sometimes i'll do like a starbucks little protein box and for dinner, if I have to go fast food, all these and these options are always like you know, if I have no other choices or whatever. But I'll go with uh, I like I like a good In and Out hamburger, cheeseburger, I should say, hmm. um, or submarina sandwich. Sub sandwich is good. Yeah, those are pretty good. I mean, right. there's there's better stuff you could eat. Sure, when you're at home and you have the time to make it. Cooked a lot this weekend. I made some. Um, I made some food. We barbecued a lot of food for Eric's oh, birthday. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think I'm. I think that's good. Good questions. I. I. Then uh, thank you for your answer. Very good for questions. My call. Very good questions. Thank you for calling in, man. Oh no problem. Thank, all right. Uh, enjoy the game. All right. Peace. I will. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye.